there were some new things released in Excel recently, the data types, and there's two, the stocks and geography. So only certain insiders have them now, but I wanted to play with this for you so that you can see what's coming. We're just gonna play with this, okay, and see what happens. Here we've got a list of cities, and then on the data tab, we see here are the data types. I'm gonna highlight these and then go to geography. Watch, okay. So now we have that map icon and then a question mark next to Zion. Now this data selector over here, let's look at it. So this says Zion, Illinois, and then this one, I can't see the full thing. Let's open this up a little further. Pennsylvania, Oklahoma is asking me to select which Zion I'm asking for. I'm going to close this and then go in here and type Illinois. Now it's refreshed. Now it's giving me information about Zion, Illinois, but it did not ask me for the same thing for Salem. There are, I think, 26 Salem's in the United States. Which one did it give me? It gave me Salem, Oregon. What if I wanted Salem, Massachusetts? So anyway, let's go with Salem, Oregon. And now I'm going to do this. Population. And put this into a table. Format as table. Okay. Get rid of grid lines. Equals period okay i'm gonna get population double click it enter diego garcia has no population and which panama city am i looking at panama city panama not panama city florida okay so we see some inconsistencies it asked me to pick a zion it didn't ask me to pick salem or a panama city what about cairo It's giving me Egypt. I want Cairo, Illinois. It's got a refresh. All right. So now we see 2,359 people in Cairo, Illinois. But I can't see that from here. Right. I don't know if that's the Dallas, Texas or Dallas, Oregon. Now I'm going to type something in here. I'm going to type Goose Creek. Goose Creek. It's changed it to Baytown. Let's look at this map again. Baytown, Texas. That's not what I meant. I meant Goose Creek, South Carolina. Let's go to Great Lakes Naval Base. It's changed to Naval Station Great Lakes. How about if I put Pilsen, which is a neighborhood in Chicago? Pilsen Historic District. So it's changing the names. It's trying to fix things on me. Okay, let's get some more data. Equals. Cities. Period. Leaders. Most give me a mayor, some have nothing, and then Baltimore gives me a member of Congress and a mayor. Okay, you've seen enough there. Now I want to copy the cities, paste its values to do something else. Copy. I don't want them to be data types anymore. Paste as values. But they are still data types, and you can see that by that map. So I've got to get that out of there. I'm going to use flash fill. Chicago, Dallas, data, flash fill. Okay. Now these are not data types anymore. Let's look at some zip codes. Okay. Go over here. And go to a website and get some random zip codes. Go on to randomlist.com. 60 
zip codes. All right. Copy. Paste them in. Three, two, one, three, seven. Four, three, okay. All right, so I've got the zip codes out. Now I've got to format them as zip codes. Okay, so my leading zeros are here. Now I want to grab out the city and state. Slide this over. Palm Coast, Florida. See if this is going to work. Data. Flash fill. Great. Okay, this will work for the entire column. Okay. Flash fill. And then get rid of this. I'm going to copy this over. And let's turn them into geography data types. Okay, we're going to get the map right zips cities equals f3 period description send it down now let's look palm coast florida almost town pennsylvania hyde park massachusetts is just a postal region. Hillsboro, New Jersey is just shown as a postal region in the United States. Now the zip code is a data type. Can we get a population from here? Say equals F3 period. Population is not an option. Population was an option when we had a city name on the other sheet. What else can we get? Let's see. Equals. Period. How about the formal name? The name is giving me zip codes. That's not what I want. I'm going to undo that. So equals. Dot. City. Okay, now I've got city names here. Let's call this city names. Let's see if I can get populations from these city names. So let's highlight a few. Geography. It's not allowing me to make a data type from this formula. Looks like I would have to copy and then paste this as values and then do geography. Okay, that leads me to question, can I do this? Okay, Chicago. Can I highlight both of these geography? Okay, so it let me do that. But notice it has spelled out the states where I had the abbreviations. I don't want the states spelled out. Can I do this? Equals text join. Delimiter, I want a comma space, comma. Okay, ignore empty cells, fine. Comma, and then these two. It won't let me join those. But if I did have this works. All right, what happens if I save this and open it in my laptop where I don't have the data types yet? Now I'm on my laptop where I don't have the data types. See the data tab of the ribbon, there is no data types. Okay, let's open that file. Ha, unknown, unknown. 
We don't have the cities anymore, but we have the data that we made as formulas. But the things that were data types, they're completely gone. When you get these data types, play with them. Just see what their strengths and weaknesses are. It was very helpful that we didn't have to go on the internet to get some of this data digging around, right? But there are some weaknesses. That's it for now. Now I'll see you in the next video.